A Sacramento rock band is among the finalists ready to play their hearts out at a national Battle of the Bands competition. There's a grand prize of $10,000 at stake, along with a chance to land the next big gig. Alex Kenor, did I say that right, Alex Ken Kenor? You're one half of the- It was close. You're one half of the Ken honest. Kenoyer. Kenoyer, okay, you're one half of the honest. Yes. And you're here to tell the truth about your music and how you guys are That's playing about. to put SAC on the map. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm honored to be here. Thank you so much, Aubrey. <laughs> yeah, so you're a local rock band here in Sacramento. Um, talk about your band, and then what was it like to find out that you um, are the Sacramento finalists for the JD Battle of the Bar Bands competition? It was unreal. My jaw kind of dropped to the floor when I got the call from iHeartRadio, and I was just like, are you serious? We're, we're, we're the contestants. We got picked out of all these amazing Sacramento bands. Um, so that was really unreal, but really cool. Um, I'm, it's still sinking in, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, the, the pandemic kind of took a toll on the music industry as a whole. So we all kind of drifted a little bit. Um, but me and Seth here kind of kept writing and have continued to do so. Um, and then this song found its way into the competition. And here we are. It's it's kind of, it's reinvigorating. That's pretty cool. Now talk a little bit more about your band and your sound. Where did it all come from? Um, well, we're both um, really big Beatles fans, Modest Mouse fans. Um, who else? The list could go on and on. I could fill the whole segment with just bands that are influencers <laughs> of us. <laughs> I won't do that to you, though. Um, but what's the way, but, like, how do you yeah, explain your just... brand of rock? Our brand of rock is for... People that like storytelling and relatable storytelling. A lot of songs are just about experiences that we've gone through that are kind of funny or kind of sad um, that are worth just, you know, telling people about because relatability is is the heart of all art. Um, yeah, so, well, what I really want to know about, because I think that the audience can maybe help you, is this competition. Ooh. How does it work? Who Ooh, are you up so against? So you can vote once a day. We're up against 46 other bands, which is a lot of other bands that are probably really fantastic. Um, but I've been on social media all day, every day. Um, but you go to jdbattleofthebarbands.com um, and you can vote once a day. I think we're on page three. Uh, huge shout out to 93.7, The River, and iHeartMedia, and Jack Daniels for putting this whole thing on. Um, they've been really supportive and really helpful through this whole thing. Um, but yeah, I know it's annoying to vote once a day, but it's commitment. Just like being in a band. Yeah, and so is there a particular song that you guys are promoting or that's it's entered into this competition? Right, yeah, I'm, I'm new at this. Sorry, Aubrey. Oh, <laughs> the good. song is called Pencil Song. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's kind of, it's hard to explain what it's about. I'd rather people just listen to it and get their own um, idea of it. But it's just it's sort of an experience song about what the pandemic has kind of put us all through in a way. Yeah, but, so if yeah, you guys win, song. what happens? What is it going to mean to you? We win 10 grand, um, which is a small fortune, you know? Um, <laughs> so we would basically be re-recording the best album ever, probably the next Sgt. Peppers if we won. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, you never know, right? But You didn't think you'd be in the national right? competition. And here you are, Reverend Sacramento. That's a good point, Aubrey. <laughs> Solid point you got there. So, you know what? I have high hopes. We'll see what happens. I have my fingers crossed. $10,000 would be amazing, be the most money I've ever had at any point, as a, as a musician at least. <laughs> yeah, and then they're going to set you up with a national gig or something like that, put you on the big stage? Yeah, uh, the opportunity to play on an iHeartRadio stage, um, which iHeartRadio has been a huge part of everyone's lives for a long time, at least for discovering new music and like following artists. Um, so yeah, that would, be, that would be ridiculous. I would probably be so nervous. Um, but nerves create the best energy on stage, I've noticed. So well, the you, more nervous, the better. You guys are all about being <laughs> honest. Uh, will you be performing anywhere locally soon? Where can we catch you in the area? Ooh, I've actually, I'm playing a show this Saturday in Auburn, California, across from Tango, in that little uh, town square area. You could catch me there playing okay. 6.30 to 8.30. That'll be kind of fun. Okay. Other well, than that, we've got... There's, there's shows all the time. Well, we will look out for you. We're going to tell everybody <laughs> they can vote for you and you can rock out with this band, The Honest. Follow them on Instagram at The Honest Music. 
And we can't let you go without listening to their latest song. Here's The Honest with The Couch. I hate this couch. It's where my demons seem to gather and my back sticks to the leather when I nap the I don't dream. I hate this couch. It's where we pulled our first on nighter and laughed so loudly and I would bite her on the neck and she'd freeze up. I hate this couch. Covered in water stains. Each way the story for the spell. If I had any time to kill, I'd love myself. But I have to drop this couch off at the dump. 